What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a series of reaction. We try here and there new territories for you. And I hopefully convince you that there is more music out there. Let's share, let's find out, let's enjoy what you might not know and you might enjoy. Am I making a point? I don't know. I probably, I didn't have enough coffee, but here we are again together. Uh -huh. Let's go. Today it's not a Dimash song. It's a Dimash song, not a Dimash song. Meaning Dimash does this song. I think also translated maybe in Chinese, if I remember correctly. But like every cover, there is an origin, and that origin that's a laser beam. Yes. That origin it it's placed right there. I was trying to find the right word, didn't came. Fail. The place of that cover origin is right here. Ikanaide. Ikanaide, Japanese for nostalgia? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Koji Tamaki. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If you want to support this page, you can watch another video. You can like this video. You can subscribe. It's not creepy. It's not creepy. It's unconditional love. Oops. Oops. What do you think about this, huh? Koji Tamaki has such a lovely voice, man. Beautiful. Both the part where he's like whispering and the part where he's increasing the volume and the intensity and the belting. Well, not fully belting yet, but. I'm already projecting. Beautiful man, beautiful the way he does that for Seto. <laughs> there, there is so much emotions in it. It's uh, just spectacular. And also, what a lovely tone of voice this guy has. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Koji Damaki it's also the, was the leader um, of Azenki Tai, a very popular pop rock band in the early 80s. They've been around for quite some time. And also, uh, as Azenki Tai, there are many lovely, lovely songs. We should review some of them.
you know what? For for some reason, uh, Kochi Tamaki reminds me a little bit of Luis Miguel as well. Like th there are those type of singers which they have such incredible voice, an incredible beautiful tone, and they just use it with such a ease. So you see Koji's going up with that beautiful warm and, and at the same time high uh, tone that he has. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, he's sort of belting a little bit and then immediately goes back into that kind of breathy, hazy voice, mixed voice with such a ease. Uh, I mean... Man, this song, ooh, wow. It's so like, uh, there is so much like nostalgia in it. It's uh, that the, the makes you both feel like nostalgic, depending how you feel. You might feel maybe a little bit sad or something because you're talking about maybe nostalgia. But at the same time, there's such a really, such a lovely poetry in, into those instruments and, and uh, the orchestra. And the orchestra itself reminds me also a little bit of Joe Isaishi, which is another favorite composer of mine, also from Japan. Also does a lot of movie scores. Uh, might You might know some if you watch Studio Ghibli movies, um, like, you know, your, your neighbor Totoro and uh, my neighbor Totoro, like Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke. He did all the soundtrack for those movies, but... He also did the soundtrack for uh, um, my fa one of my favorite directors from Japan, Takeshi Kitano, uh, on most of his movies, some of his movies as well, which I also like very much. I mean, Dimash does a great job of doing this song and I'm sure he, he did the cover of this song because he probably loves Koji Tamaki as well a lot. He's a great singer. It's been a, a favorite of mine for a long time since I discovered him. And, uh, you know, the purpose also of this channel is also to share music with you guys that you don't know, <laughs> apart from the request. So hopefully we managed to achieve that objective of both fulfilling requests from all of you as much as I can. Of course, I enjoy doing it very much, discovering myself and at the same time trying to give back also to part of the audience that don't know other songs. You know, um, they, th those are the type of singers which is worth knowing. You know, like you discover Luis Miguel, you know, it's like, wow. Or Camilo Sesto, you know, like you discover those people that are like, I, I had no idea. And uh, the, the same thing, you know, it's for Koji Tamaki. It's one of the really great voices uh, of, of Japan, in my opinion.
Wow. Please, VD, don't get blocked. I mean, as you can see from me, just uh, spacing out on this song. <laughs> oh, man, it's quite a beautiful song, actually. It gets you emotional every time. Uh, so let me know, guys. You know, let me know in the comment section if he's hitting you as well, this song. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful song. I don't think it's a song that you can hear all the time. It's, uh, it's it goes quite deep, especially with that voice, that is so gentle. Yes, those yet those little accents of power you can feel. You know that that energy coming through. Yet he maintains those nuances of hazy voice. You know, breathy voice and still managed you know to keep that kind of high range with such little volume he's such a, a great singer this guy really and uh, he also does well live we should do some live performances with the japanese music videos sometimes it's a little bit more complicated the videos usually get blocked here we just get the audio so we should get just a, a copyright claimed but at least the video should be able to go up uh, and you can listen to it guys let me know what you think about koji tamaki if you knew him already or if you didn't if you like the song if you want to see more uh, if you want to support a lot of this if you want to support this page please go watch another video hit the like all of those things really support this i don't always wear mustache just in case you're like 